Now, whilst uh, taking us from Haiti to the Arctic via the farthest reaches of the solar system, tonight's nominees have mastered the incredibly difficult art of simultaneously entertaining and educating their audience. And the result has been television of the highest quality. So let's see the nominations for Best Director Factual. Director Factual. Chris Holt, Wonders of the Solar System, The Thin Blue Line. And that is what I've come to see, our atmosphere. That really is the thin blue line that protects us. So fragile, so tenuous. Just a tiny sliver of blue. Nicholas Brown, Human Planet, Arctic. Because their hunting trip could take some time, father and son will need a few comforts of home, or even home itself. Dan Reed, dispatches the battle for Haiti. Terrified prisoners, packed 300 to a cell, tore open the gates with their bare hands. Gideon Bradshaw, Paul Olding, Wonders of the Solar System, Empire of the Sun. It's 400 million, 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 million watts. That is a million times the power consumption of the United States every year radiated in one second. And we work that out by using some water, a thermometer, a tin, an umbrella, and that's why I love physics. And the BAFTA goes to Dan Reed for dispatches, the battle for hate. Directing fic uh, non-fiction is such a hit and miss venture. You need good people to get you out of trouble, and I was very, very fortunate on this production in Haiti, which was a, a controlled disaster from start to finish. I'm very surprised to find myself here. A couple of them are present in this room, the wonderful Paul Paragon and the amazing Peter Hadden. I should also mention Eamon Matthews, Ronald Desai, and Minas Sedmakov. Thank you very much, Academy. Bye-bye. Dan, congratulations on the Thank award. Thank you, you very, very much. I'm absolutely proud. thrilled, very, very thrilled, yeah. Yeah, it was a tough one. Yeah, I bet. Mm. How did you initially get involved in the project? The idea was to make a film about uh, the earthquake for the for the first anniversary, and you know, um, I, I was trying to avoid making the obvious film about what everyone else was making films about, orphans, the aid effort, what have you, and, and try and try to come at it from another angle. And the angle I found was the um, the mass jailbreak mm. that happened during the earthquake. The fact that Haiti was flooded with criminals, uh, and also people who hadn't committed a crime but were banged up in jail because the justice system was broken. Yeah. I mean, I heard there was four and a half thousand prisoners that escaped. Yeah, it's an incredible more, number. Yeah, six and a half. Yeah. yeah really, yeah. six and a half, mm. and and sort of mixing with people, so there was kind of lawlessness on the street. Yeah, well, there were lots of bad guys yeah. in jail and lots of innocent people as well. Right. You know, um, because the courts are broken, there's no justice system, so you don't know who's guilty and who's innocent. Right. And what I wanted to do was point out, point out the fact that how much aid we pour into Haiti and how much we want to help Haiti, unless you have a working justice system and you can, and this extends to stuff like contracts and, you know, if you just want to do any kind of deal or set up a business or, yeah. you know, set up a factory, you have to have courts. You have to have a way of, you know, getting rid of the bad guys and, you know, yeah. making sure the good guys are safe. Absolutely. And uh, that doesn't exist. So I thought I'd, I'd, my film was about that. And 
you said you approached it differently, but yeah. how do you get away from the news pictures that we've all seen? You know, because it, it does play on the mind, doesn't it? We, we all saw the same shots. Yes. How do you get away from that and then, you know, probe your I think you have, to, immer you have to find a, a world which, which viewers are not really aware of, and that world for me was the world of um, the underworld in Haiti. And, the people, and how did you find that? Well, you, you, the story of the, big, of the mass jailbreak during mm. the earthquake was one that a lot of people were preoccupied with. Mm. And when I went round on the ground and yeah. spoke to people, they, I said, you know, what's, what's bothering you the most? The people yeah. living in tents and what have you. Yeah. I said, security, you know, we can't set up our little business. The government, there's no government in Haiti, so the government doesn't give anyone any help. There's no social security. Mm. If you want to feed your family, you have to go out and do it yourself. You have to set up a stall. You have to do something, you know, yeah. duck and dive. And you can't duck and dive if someone's going to nick all your money or, or trash your store. So what people were really, really angst, angsting about was security, and I wanted to find a way into that. And, and so me, for me, that seemed a sort of fairly obvious thing to do. And, and so we entered this world of cops and, and bad guys. Yeah. yeah. It's a fascinating doco, and really good that you were there on the ground, yes. because it makes such a difference, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Especially yeah. as all you know, about, the world's changing. It's all about throwing away your assumptions and trying to get into the story at ground level. Yeah. You know? And that's a very... It's a very uh, rough road to take and I was very lucky with you know having a fantastic cameraman with me and sound yeah. team um, and I think it's important that the, the craft award recognize that yes you know yeah. in, the, in, yeah. in this day yeah. where I mean directing is a bit of a fake job right yeah, yeah, really I mean it's all <laughs> your, your success is really all about the people you choose yeah I think that's probably a, a director's main talent is choosing the right people to work with well you did very well so thank, thank you. you very much thanks congratulations very much.